dear friends, and we are today in Big Iron Show, and it's the second day, and remember, it's 44th year for this amazing big show in um, North Dakota, West Fargo. And today we do a little bit um, uh, preview on the Amenity Technology, it's an amazing uh, company producing uh, big machinery. And today we're talking to... Uh, I'm Mark Trostead, product nice specialist. Nice to meet you. And uh, so you're product specialist for uh, specific machinery or... Yeah. Equipment, yep. Amity feed equipment, harvesters, defoliators, and carts. Yep. Pretty awesome. So, what would you like to start with? Well, right here in front of us is our 2720 uh, 12 row harvester, kind of our premier piece for the show in in lifters. Uh, this one's equipped with Isobus, uh, our auto depth system, which is a leveling system uh, that is on this for controlling depth and leveling in uneven fields. Uh, this has kind of been our bread and butter for the last couple years here. Mm -hmm. uh, very, uh, very simple machine, but yet it covers a lot of acres in a real quick time. So what does exactly this do? Well, what we do is we start up front here. Uh -huh. We're going over our rows of sugar beets right here, and the beets will come into these wheels, and this wheel will gently pull the beet up out of the ground and then this paddle flips them back onto that bed chain, that conveyor, which takes them back a little further to we see these rollers back here with the scrolling on it. And what that scrolling actually does, that it gently rubs the dirt, if there's any dirt on the beat, rubs it off and sheds it back on the ground. So it follows the conveyor back to get up to our tank and then into our truck and our conveyor with a clean product. How does it do it gently? Is it like some kind of sensory, you know, it's set up a certain way accordingly to the way it was originally seated? You know, it, speed is one thing, but it, it's, we have an, uh, several adjustments we can do on our machine, different things. So if we're lifting in really wet, muddy conditions, we have to be a little bit more aggressive with our cleaning. If we're in a dry, uh, setting with small beats we can do adjustments to make things a little bit more uh, smoother operation not quite as aggressive uh, just to get our product and we, we, we our goal is to not damage our our beat exactly because i want to see it in the store nice you know correct, correct. we want to get it from the ground to the truck to the truck and then then from the truck to the factory with as little damage as possible that totally makes sense. And that conveyor is included in there. And what is it it's in force with? Is it like self-moving product or it have to be pulled by? Well, we, we'd have a tractor on the front of this pulling it through the field, yes. And how big of a tractor have to uh, This one we'd probably have a 250 to a 300 horsepower tractor to handle this machine uh, in, in all conditions and uh, Another one is uh, uh, how fast we want to travel in the field. This particular machine here, uh, we, we see 40 tons an acre at uh, five miles an hour, which is really getting a lot of, a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Huh, pretty amazing. And where are you guys building all this? We build it right here in Fargo. It starts off really? as raw iron, and they're, all the manufacturing is done right here in Fargo to final assembly, so, and they're sold worldwide that's pretty amazing to know that it's all local so if we need parts or whatever you know needs to be um, serviced like it should be pretty quick then right yep yep no we have a, a, a network of dealers who, who sell and service our machines so uh, it's uh, it's a big deal uh, to get parts in a timely fashion or service in a timely fashion that's important amity for sure. And uh, is like a machinery different capacity, like sizes, yes. so or how yes. how does that go? We'll make from a, a six row, eight row, 12 row, depending on certain areas demand different size equipment. So here in the Red River Valley, this is probably the most common machine gotten uh -huh. to be right now for us is the 12 row. Right. Uh, none of our farmers are getting smaller. So most of our farms are getting bigger. So it's all, it's all about how many acres can we get done in a, in a day. I see. Okay. And um, is it solely used for sugar bits? Not nothing else. Like okay. 
that's that's pretty cool and so usually like how people find you like if they want to well they could go right to our website amitytechnology.com you know uh to to find us we're we have all the information on our website uh our phones ring pretty steady this time of year so there's always somebody at the other end of the phone line okay pretty cool so you have a uh, representation in different states uh primarily well yes we're north dakota minnesota idaho uh wyoming colorado nebraska uh -huh. so wherever the you you know the sugar beets grow yeah wherever we're growing sugar beets are okay. we have dealers and and our equipment is there yep and servicing that's yep. that's most important part yes. that's in second second question usually servicing ah, yes. okay how it's done yeah um what is the next piece you would like to show us today well right over here we have our 3750 we call this a high speed defoliator uh -huh. and what this machine does is this is the first step in the process of harvesting sugar beets so we we kind of start up this front of the machine here and you can see in the front there's some steel cup knives so what we're doing over with this machine is we're going over the top of the beets just kind of like what this brochure shows here and we're taking the foliage off the top of our beets and this is a very critical step in, in in sugar beet harvest because the factory does not want the greens left on top of the beet uh, we have to get rid of those nitrates right. so as we travel over and this one does 12 rows at a time so it's kind of a match for our 12 row harvester right so the first row takes off probably 90 percent of the foliage of the plant there's a second drum that does a little more mm -hmm. or basically whatever is left there's probably about two inches of green left the second drum takes care of that and the third drum of this basically cleans the, the debris away from our row of beets so we can come and run our lifter wheels what pluck the beet out of the ground with no trouble Huh. The one, the one thing about this machine here, this is kind of loaded up with everything we offer uh -huh. on the back of the machine. We're the company, only company that offers. We call it a self-leveling defoliator. It's our AHC Auto High System. So this pan is riding off on the top of the row of beets, and what that's doing is if we come into different size beets the topper is taking an average as we travel and adjusting the height as we're going up and down the field rather than stopping the tractor coming back and adjusting cylinder stops on the back of our defoliator we can do it all from the touch of a button on the cap wow that's pretty neat and this back here is is we call this our scalper bar and what that does that's a final cut on the top of the beat it's just a blade down here that shears off any imperfections that are left of green on the row of beets. That's phenomenal. So they, and you're the company who design all that yes, and build all yes, that and it's all done down right here in North down. Dakota. Yep. That's amazing. This top right here, we call it our high speed defoliator. It's capable of up to, you know, I'd say average speed is about five miles an hour. And we, it's, it's built to, to match up with our 12 row harvester. So usually like if somebody orders something like that, it, like how soon they can see, you know, the order fulfilled? Well, is something in stock or you need time to build it, it's pre-order? It's usually built as ordered. So uh, usually right now we're just starting our process of selling for next harvest, ah. you know, so uh, right now we'll start production uh, on our, our pieces sold for next year, uh, probably in December here, January, and all our machines make it out. We start harvest here probably a little earlier than anybody else. We're started uh, about the 15th of August and usually all our machines are, are ready to roll by the 15th of August. Gotcha. And you partner up with some kind of banks, like you're providing um, like financing or it's have to be like already? Well, we don't, set. The, the customer, the end user buys it from a dealer. We do not sell customer direct. I see. Okay. So he's going to go through his local John Deere dealer, Case dealer, whoever is an Amity dealer and, and do the purchasing. Huh, I see. Yep. Alrighty. Yeah, that's very good to know. Anything else we can see here today? Please well, we have our, our soil sampler set up on that ranger. I'm not personally not involved in that a little at all, but but we do offer that. 
yeah, this is a soil sampler here. I personally don't know much about it, but. But it's pretty much gets in the ground, pulls the sample. Pulls our sample. And it's analyzed, it's right here, or you have to send it over somewhere? No, it gets, we pull our lab, or our sample, send it off to the lab, and they determine what our, our soil needs for nutrients. We just offer the ability to get the sample. And it comes with uh, this little no. thing, or just this? The ranger is just part of, so we have for shows. Huh, that's pretty cool. We sell it mainly to a lot of big, larger farms or agronomy centers, things of that nature. What do we see here? I see like it's a separate kind of stand for specifically for the swells. What exactly are you trying to show us here? This is, the lifter wheel is kind of the heart and soul of the Amity Harvester. Right. It's basically how we got to start. It's very yes. unique to the industry. Uh, not a, a lot of our other competition are, try to mimic what mm. we do with this portion, but they, they can't quite get exactly close to what we do. Basically, this is just a uh, display stand for shows so people can get a better look at different adjustments and things like that, mm -hmm. that uh, we can do to make uh, operating uh, the operation easier and adjusting for conditions. Right. So right in this cavity here, that's where we call it our pinch point. And that is what does the work of grabbing the side of the beet and pulling it up out of the dirt. Got you. Pretty amazing. And it has like a powder coating or? Yeah, this is, you know, this is just our, our powder coat paint, which doesn't last very long once we hit the field. I know, and nothing, no, nothing lasts long. You know what I mean? Once it right. hit the field. Right. <laughs> so no, this is like I said. We we do a lot of uh, talking at shows about this specific part of our harvester because it's it's kind like I said, it, it's kind of been the heart and soul of the Amity beet harvester. Right. So uh, it's very works very well in most conditions, and it's very robust and uh, uh, long life of service. Mm. Awesome. Good to know. Well, Mark, thank you very much thank for spending you. time with us today. Right. Appreciate it greatly. We will get this information out to everybody who is in the field right now harvesting and cannot be at this show today. These guys all made for you. Please subscribe, uh, like, and definitely push the notification button so you get these videos first. See you there. Thank you. <laughs>